So, uh, are you ready, Sinjin? Yep. You ready? All right. Let's go. Okay. Sinjin, please. <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Sinjin Lee from Korea. Um, I'm CEO of Great Hash, and I like to play the uh, uh, CTF, which is a hacking competition. Um, and uh, I'm now an advisor for the Cyber Command in Korea. So, and then also I used to I used to work for intelligence in Korea for many years. So, um, uh, uh, before the presentation, I'd like to mention a few things. And as you know, the attack is much easier than defense always because uh, you have to pro protect a lot of things. But uh, uh, attackers find the one single point, a vulnerable point, and uh, he got everything. Then also. Um, uh, in this field, I mean, the cyber area, to protect uh, yourself well, uh, the most, keep, um, most important thing is that uh, to have the talented people because the hackers find the vulnerability, hackers fix the vulnerability, and also hackers make uh, good uh, strategy. So the most key point is that to have the, uh, the talented people. And so, so we uh, decided to make a next generation because um, we are getting attacked and um, and there's, there, were, there, were no, uh, there were no talented people at the time. So, uh, but why we, uh, we think we, uh, we need good people and uh, why we have to make that, uh, the talented people very quickly? Uh, as you see the map, uh, and you can see that the border. So we are the one of the uh, divided countries in the world, and still we are work, uh, officially on a war. So um, the... This is, a, the, this is a picture from North Korea. Um, so so people, um, people might read that news, uh, North Korea is hacking Sony or the South Korea network or South Korea, the banks, whatever. But uh, the people might wonder that if North Korea is actually um, able to, able to the hack uh, the other countries, because the people might think like they are really poor, they don't have a network, they don't have a computer. Oh, so maybe that's... Um, they might be uh, not true, but um, I told you I used to work for intelligence for many years, uh, but I cannot, I cannot uh, tell you uh, the details, but uh, I'm pretty sure that, that North Korea is, uh, is attacking the, the countries, especially South Korea. They actually attack, they, they, they actually attack uh, the South Korean network every day, literally every day. And, and also, um, this is, uh, um, I, I found this random picture, but actually uh, they train young guys, young um, girls about the computer security and, uh, well, more like the hacking, how to hack, not to, uh, not to know defense. They, they're just okay to, to by just doing hacking because um, they don't have a network, they don't have a computer, and they have just enemies like South Korea. So because of the, um, the North, Korean, North Korean hackers, so we, we think we have to, to make a way uh, to protect ourselves from uh, North Korea. Yeah, why uh, North Korean hackers is having the advantage position? Because uh, I told you there, there's no network. Well, actually, there's a few network, but only like a 10 servers. Uh, something, but uh, in Korea, uh, we, uh, South Korea, we have uh, like more than, much more than, uh, many more than um, the North Koreans ones. So we have to have the, we have to protect a lot of things compared comparing to North Korea. So and and then um, they do they they can do uh, they do anything. I mean they they can do whatever they want. So the last month they did um, the nuclear test even. So they they can try to. Hack the president in South Korea, so we are des uh, they are really unpredictable. So um, that's it means that they are really dangerous. And on the other part, uh, I was talking about the government part, but uh, this um, this is the private sector. So um, I, I think there's a, uh, we have a CEO or higher positions in this room. But if you think to make a business in Korea or Japan in Asia countries, uh, and if your company got hacked. You have to do this, so you have to say you have to be on the stage and have to say sorry. And uh, this is the Asian way to to oblige like this way. Sorry, to, to to the people. So even if you are owner of the company, 
And um, if, you, if your company got hacked more than three times, you have to be, um, you're going to be kicked out from the company. This is uh, by the law in Korea. So this is really strict. So the government and the industry um, uh, started to uh, consider the security um, really seriously. So everyone uh, wanted to hire hackers, but um, uh, when they realized that we, are, we, we have a situation, but there were not many hackers at the time. So, oh, we want to pay, we, we want to pay like 200,000 for hackers, but there's no hackers uh, in, in Korea. So, okay, how we can make a next generation very quickly. So, um, for that, uh, we, had, we had a lot of meetings with the government and the industry and me, myself as well. So um, all, all high up guys from the government and um, all high up guys from the industry, we got, a, we got meetings together. So, uh, okay, the, hey Beast, uh, my handle is Beast. Hey Beast, uh, how, we made, how we can make uh, hackers very quickly? Because we cannot wait for like 50 years. So we have to make, it, make them very quickly. Um, we had a lot of meetings. But the, the, the struggle thing is that, um, that having meetings with the government is really, um, well, yeah, I used to work with government as well, but uh, so is that, that having meetings with the government uh, is not really um, not working well. Because um, the government said people, most of them, uh, they don't understand the, the actual things. So, um, but anyway, uh, to, com to come up, um, um, okay, uh, so we suggest them, um, okay, we need, we, need, we need your resource from the government and we need your money from the industry. Uh, we can make the, the next generation quickly in this way. So um, after the discussion, a lot of discussion, um, uh, we um, are going to tell how you're actually doing uh, to the make next, next generation. I can categorize as four, the one, the community and the industry and academia and the government. So, um, can you guess how old this um, this guy and the, and the girl? They are like um, the, like a 12 years old elementary stu uh, student. But as you see, um, as you see, North Korean hackers they are attacking South Korea every day. You can see the news literally every day. Okay, South Korea and North Korea ha hackers are hacking the, the, this specific bank, the, the South Korea bank. So. Um, the, everyone is interested in learning um, computer security, and uh, even middle school students or even uh, elementary school students. So we made um, a called a hacking camp. So um, we um, we collect um, the, the those interest, interested people. Like uh, you want to learn about a, you wanna, you want to learn about a hacking, or you wanna uh, you wanna get a job at uh, from the computer security. Form. Uh, so we we have the um, the event uh, every quarter. So actually, um, it has been more than ten years. So uh, the, the, uh, some of them were really young at the time, and, but now grown up. Uh, some of them really really skilled. They one of them uh, won a DEFCON CTF last year, and also uh, we have the um, the woman only hacking competition. I mean, so like uh, if I count the woman here, there may be less than, uh, less than 10. So there are more, more many people, uh, men in this field, but definitely women would like to learn about the computer security, but it's, it's like a full of men, it's kind of hard to, do, um, hard to get in, to the, in the group. I mean, especially in Korea, in Asia country, women more shyer, th shyer than, than the men. So uh, we, made a w we made this event for the women, oh, okay, uh, to get into more easier. So um, it's getting really popular. And also, um, so, uh, the, the, to learn about hacking, there are really many ways. Now, one of them is you can learn about hacking from the, the work game site, so, which is uh, like a stage up. Um, the work game, so there are like um, maybe many levels. You, you, if you solve the level one, and then you could go to level 20 or something like that. So this is the, one of the best way to learn hacking. And also by uh, reading the like, uh, hacking books, it's also very uh, useful. But um, to to make uh, to have more people, like uh, to to make the um, the um, um, 
students can uh, learn more e easier. So we made uh, the cartoon. We made a cartoon. Uh, the cartoon lectures. Uh, you can learn um, hacking by cartoon by, by reading cartoons like this. It's a talk about um, so which 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 uh, which server is not opening a 6,000 port something uh, to scan or something like that. And also, uh, my company is doing um, scholarship, scholarship program. Uh, we find the talented people, the young people then, like under 20, uh, under 18, actually. So we try to find uh, the talented people, and we, uh, we, g we give them money monthly by just learning uh, hacking, but uh, they have to make a research, like uh, they, they have to do their own research. So these these guys are really awesome. I mean, um, these guys um, they found the, the, like modern web browser the vulnerabilities like uh, in Internet Explorer or Chrome uh, and Firefox. They found the vulnerabilities uh, from this program. But uh, I mean, my company didn't take any cred uh, credit. They could uh, use it, use them themselves. And. I knew uh, there was a mandatory uh, army service in Sweden like uh, until like a year ago, but um, not anymore. But in Korea, you, every man every man has to go to the army for 21 months. So and this is like a um, typical day when you are in army in, in Korea. Uh, like a group punishment is always every almost every day. So they are putting their head in the water, but. Industry and the government made a really nice way uh, to avoid the, the military service. Um, if you are really good hacker and if you are really skilled, uh, you uh, you can work for the IT security company instead of going to the army. So that's really um, that that really inspired inspired the hackers. I mean, young people. Oh, mom, I don't want to go to army, so I have to learn like hacking. So things like that. It's really awesome because um, in Korea, if you go to the army, your salary might be only like 100, 100 USD per month, and you have to do this every day. So, but uh, if you if you if you can work for an IT security firm instead of instead of going to the army, uh, you could make a lot of money and then no, don't have to do the, this picture. Yeah. And uh, the, the industry uh, uh, is spending a lot of money to make this community more bigger and more powerful. Uh, for example, in Korea, we have more than 10 security conferences and 10 uh, hacking competitions per year. So, like, um, how big is this that? Because uh, how big is this that? Um, it's like um, DEFCON CTF, CTF size. And also, uh, there is a really big money as a price. If you won, uh, you could get like a 30 grand, 30 grand USD. Um, this is um, uh, this is a picture from the CodeGate, um, one of the security conferences in Korea. So um, there is a one team from Sweden. Uh, their team name is the Hack HFS, uh, which is for, stands for the Hacking for Soju. So they won uh, several years ago uh, and got uh, 30 30 grand. They are really awesome. And one uh, notable thing is that, not like in Sweden, I, I heard that if you want to go to top schools in Sweden, it's not really hard. But it's, uh, the, to graduate, it's hard. But uh, to enter the university, it's not really hard. But most of Asia, including Japan and Korea, if you want to go to the top schools, you have to get like a zero under 0 0.001 point uh, SAT. It's really extremely hard. So this is a typical life for young students in Korea. You have to study a lot until like from 6 a.m. or 12 p.m. and uh, 11 p.m. or something. Uh, 6 a.m. to like 3 a.m. something. So they have to study a lot. So it's a literally impossible to get into the top school for young hackers because uh, they spend their all day and all night doing hacks in front of the, uh, his computer. Uh, so top university in Korea, they made a really cool way that um, if you, you are high school students and uh, if you won at hacking competition, really popular hacking com competition, you don't have to have the, the top SAT, SAT scores. You could get into the university. So. Uh, this is a really huge movement because of the um, that program. Um, the the parents in Korea they started to uh, let 
their children learn hacking because um, it's a getting a, uh, like a top SAT score is really hard. So, and so I'm not sure if this is common in other countries, but in Korea, uh, if you many many people want to work for uh, intelligence, uh, like a James Bond, but usually they ask you top school graduated and a top GPA score it used to be, but only for hackers. They don't they don't ask hackers to be uh, to be having a good um, top GPA or you don't have to you don't have to have the uh, the um, top school degree, so they made a special way uh, for hiring, hiring um, skilled hackers. And also, Cyber Command, um, my previous job, so usually, um, actually, I don't, work out, I don't work out at all, so, so I don't want to be uh, the, uh, the running every day and then shooting people and exercising. Something so I uh, they the cyber command they uh, they offer the hackers oh if you come to uh, the cyber command I promise you you don't have to have uh, shooting people or you don't work out or you don't have to wake up like at like 8 a.m. or 6 a.m. something you you do whatever you want at the company so they made a really special way and this is uh, one of the ways uh, to collect the skilled hackers um, from the government side. And also, the, I think this is um, the, um, the, first, the first program in Korea. Even um, there are, as uh, Karen mentioned, that there are many private sectors, they make um, the bug bounty programs. But no government in the world that runs uh, bug bounty programs. But in Korea, uh, the government runs the bug bounty programs to inspire the university students, um, students and the, the, the other people to um, the loan hacking, or even the government government uh, uh, gives award to uh, the students who found the vulnerabilities, um, and then they uh, they could use the um, when they try to apply in the university. So, oh, I got I got award from the government by just fi finding vulnerabilities. So the the government runs um, the, the bug bounty program, and this is. Um, one training program in Korea, uh, which is uh, run by run by government. Uh, this is called the BOB, Best of the Best program. So um, you see uh, this this room. Uh, this is called the Cyber War, and uh, you can team up. You can team up like for like five or six people, and they are competing each other. This is uh, like a hacking competition style, but like a real situation. So. Um, this is a really cool, cool program because um, you, ju you, just, you just learn hacking from top school, uh, top hackers in Korea, and you get paid monthly by just learning. So we have the, uh, about the 100 students per year, and it's like a, survi a survival program. Only 10 students uh, can be in the end and they could get really huge money, like a 20 grand or something. So um, it's a really popular program in Korea. And um, this is the five years so far. They made a really good, uh, good hackers by, I mean, the funding by government. So, so, so far, um, I mean, I've talked to you about how we are doing right now. Um, still way to go we have to do, but still, uh, we, I think we have made a good result because um, um, who do you expect in 2000? There were not many skilled hackers and nobody, the, the world doesn't know uh, any single Korean hacker. So who do you expect uh, Korean is going to win in 2015? Anyway, uh, we won the last year. So by, I think by this program, Things and at the time we only had like a, about uh, 20 security companies in 2000, but now more than 300. Uh, but still, yeah, we have to do uh, something more. So we are having a lot of meetings, like like every month, with the government and uh, the high up guys from the industry. So to make uh, the next generation very quickly, uh, we three 
are helping each other, like government run bulk, bulk bounties and the supported community. And support uh, community, they're, they spend their time not getting money, but uh, the, to make uh, the community more bigger and more powerful and more stronger. So industry help community each other. They don't, sp they don't earn any money from making the, like a, that kind of a com conference or uh, hacking competition because uh, the, those conferences are free. So, so they, don't, they don't earn anything. But they could, they could make more hackers at that, and then they could hire them. So, so I want to mention that we have a really good um, way to the collaboration, to do collaboration. Yes, um, I think uh, we, as I mentioned, we still wait to go to do uh, the better. We are still, uh, we still getting hacked by North Korean hackers every day. Even last month, there was a huge accident. But yeah, so we are still working on it to, to make more uh, hackers. So I think this is so far my presentation. Uh, if you have any question. Great, thank you, Sinjin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please have a seat. Yep.